Still getting it in, your man DJ Eakin Tampa's most connected DJ. Kind of connected, kind of heavy right now with the king. What's that? The king of the South, T.I.P. in the building, man. What's good with you, man? Cool. Bro, let me ask you a question. How, how does, with everything you've done, all the things you've accomplished, how do you continue to stay motivated? Um, well, I got six kids, and they grow every day. <laughs> I, got, I got to feed them three times. Three times? Every day. Really? You know how many meals that is? That's 18 well, meals that's a day. a day. And then you 18 eat. 18 meals, and plus me. Right. And, and and snacks. Right. You know, and gas. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, man. Um, Let's get right into it. I want to talk about the new project, man. I got I got a chance to in Atlanta to hear quite a few joints off it, man. So okay. what's the mindset going into the new the new project, Paper Trail? Man, you know, uh, I went in, I went, I approached this, this project doing two things. I wanted to give people everything that they love about T.I., right. everything they expect to hear from a T.I. album. Right. And I also wanted to give them things that they totally did not expect from a right. T.I. album, things that would just take them by surprise and they never would have heard this and thought that I would be on it. Right. So, I, you know, I think that the, the infusion of the two made for a, a, a great project. Okay, so with the state of the game right now, what, what do you, what do you think? And of course, I mean your history itself, has, your legacy, and the things that you've done already have said enough for you. But with mm -hmm. the state of the game and the way records are being sold and not being sold, I what mean, do you, what do you think your place? Because I mean, speaking of that, your last album, Ti versus Tiff, you made it yeah. clear. I heard it's a drought. I heard things ain't going right. That yeah. really don't matter to Grand Hustle. Nah, it really don't. I mean, you know, it don't matter to none of the people who really matter. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got people like like Wayne selling a million the first week. You got right. Kanye doing his thing. You got me doing my thing. I'm sure Jeezy gonna do his thing. Plyde doing his thing. The people who matter, they still selling records. Rick Ross doing his thing. I mean, everybody, you know, we have we having our moments. Right. It's just the folk who ain't got no business in the game in the first place. Wow. Ain't selling no record. And speak. See, I mean, because for real, I mean, just keep it all the way for real. I mean, it's the game is cluttered, full of nonsense. You know how you got when you got gunk on your pipes right and you know can't but a little bit of water get through like because of all that gunk. like drip yeah that's why you got to get that drain though you got to get that drain though get all that gunk out them pipes clear out the pipe like <sighs> you are in a place i so want to be right now and make it easy because you know? i thought that the game was like flooded so how yeah. do you be an executive running a label yeah find an artist yourself uh-huh what sparks your attention about an artist they say you out you and what would make you say yeah. i would want that artist to be a part of grand hustle well, talent for one, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, they taking talent in so many different ways now. Yeah, no, they taking the, if no. you can sell. Come on, tip, tip. Like, now, you know. now talent is like old school. That's like you know, right? But you know, you got talent. That's oh man, that's so old school. You supposed to be. I can't even rap. I'm not even a rapper, and I still do it. Right. That's what that. That's what the new school. Because I'm confused. Because okay, three million that's MySpace hits now is considered talent, and to me, that could just be the right ringtone banger. I mean, you could just be making a fool out yourself, and people like to see you make a fool out yourself. If three million people come to see you make a fool out yourself, right. then that validates you as talented in this day and age. Now I ask somebody I else this. I ask somebody else this. If if I was an MC and I was walking and you know I got twenty minutes with Ti and I had twenty minutes to keep your attention, and say, look, man, you might got a chance to be a part of Grand Hustle right now. Yeah. What would that twenty minutes need to? And I know talent is a big part of it. Yeah. But play music. Let the music speak for it. Don't don't talk more about yourself than the music can support. Right. If you if you build yourself to be up to here and then I play your music and it's down to here, right. I don't want to talk no more. Wow. That's from the king itself. Yeah. So this so the album so the album you working on, who you who'd you work with this go around? I'm sure you you um, have certain you always love to work with. Yeah, DJ Toon, you know, um Swiss. Uh had the pleasure of working with Jim Johnson this time around. Uh another Just Blaze record. Uh Drama Boy. Um, my producers, Nud and B, Lil C, uh, Kanye, Rihanna, right, uh, Usher, Justin Timberlake, just to name a few. Is there anybody out there that that the King wants to work with? He just haven't had a, he had a chance yeah. to run across yet. Outcast, and they right in the eight OT. I did a record with Big Boy on his album, right. And you know, I speak to Dre a lot. You know, you know when I see him, but. We just ain't got in the same play at the same time on the same record. Right. You know what I'm saying? We done worked around each other. Right. You know. Yeah, me and Outkast. That's what I'm that's what I'm waiting on. What's your favorite joint on the album? I don't have no favorites. They like children. They all they all yeah, get the same thing. Depends treatment. on what kind of mood you what kind of mood I'm in. 
So what's the rec what's the record for me right now if I got that new shorty in the car and I'm like, you know. Oh, you talking for a girl? Yeah, just me and her. We hanging out though. It ain't it gotta depends. be a definite girl, so it just like me like, and her. I mean, just you and her, y'all kicking it? Just some kicking a movie, something. Ain't nothing promised. Yeah. I might not see her next two weeks. Yeah. Well, so that day though, I'm hanging out with her and she she's got my undivided attention. You, you, you could go with porn star. She might not get, but like, God, that's four, five, five hours right there. I'm done with her after that. Hey, man, you, I mean, it's, that's the name of the song. I mean, I, what you do with it, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> you. Or you can give her whatever you like, depending on how much you, you know what I'm saying, how you feel about her. You can play whatever you like. You got to be careful with that song now. Right, because. You play whatever you like around the wrong woman, you can get embarrassed. You're wow. going to say, well, that ain't, we just left Dennis. That ain't whatever I like. I think we need to start over. <laughs> you can't. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know. Real talk with the king, man. Yeah, so, king. albums in stores when? September 30th. I'm going to let you get out of here, man. Um, but do and me Big a favor. Country Kane, Big Country King album in store September 30th as well. Okay. And give me, give me, um, because I like to try to do this, and, and I think that somebody who's been in the game as long as you and, and had the experience of having your own company, Grand Hustle, your mm -hmm. own team, and doing movies and everything you've done. Yeah. Give me, give me something that I could give these new artists that, you know, that say, Eakin, what should I do? And I want to hear from the king, man. Have talent. Perfect your craft. I mean, because right now, people get in the game before they even write their first rap, talking about they going to get paid. Right. Whereas, just think about a little kid playing ball. When a little kid pick up ball and start playing ball, he's not playing because he want to get paid. It's the love. He's playing because he loves to play ball. Out of this love, he plays so much that he gets so good, he eventually put himself in a position to get paid. Right. The same thing with rapping. Rap because you love to do it. Don't say, man, I don't even do this. Right. But I'm going to get this paper. Well, you know no, what, man? You're going to embarrass yourself. Another thing. I'm, I'm Another thing. You know, I love the game. Mm -hmm. And I like to take opportunities to meet people like yourself. Because, you know, you. you pretty much can say yeah and nay because you're an executive. Yeah. And I know you do, like, a lot of shows. Yeah. And I DJ first. Drama's my dude, so I don't really want his job. Right on. But, like, say, like, you're doing, like, one of them songs, like, um, you know what it is or uh -huh. why you want to go and do that. Mm -hmm. You ever thought about, like, some, some background dances or, like, you know? No. I'm saying like no, but we never tip. Come on, we. Uh -uh. I'm just not. So basically, negative. It's <laughs> my dude, straight up, man. So I love you, homie. My man Ti, man. Out one more time. Paper trail in stores. September thirtieth, man. Hustle day, man. Me and Big Country gonna be in stores. See about us. The king has spoken. Guess I go on and dance my way somewhere else, man. <laughs>